You shall not see your brother's ox or sheep strain and ignore them. Rather, you shall return them to your brother. But if your brother is not near you, or if you do not know him, you shall bring it into your house, and it shall be with you until your brother seeks it out. Whereupon you shall return it to him. So shall you do with his donkey, and so shall you do with his garment. So shall you do with any lost article of your brother which he has lost and you have found, you shall not ignore it. You shall not see your brother's donkey or his fallen under its load on the road and ignore them. Rather, you shall pick up the load with him. A man's attire shall not be on a woman, nor may a man wear a woman's garment. Because whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. If a bird's nest chances before you on the road on any tree or on the ground, and it contains fledglings or eggs, if the mother is sitting upon the fledglings or upon the eggs, you shall not take the mother upon the young. You shall send away the mother, and then you may take the young for yourself, in order that it should be good for you, and you should lengthen your days when you build a new house. You shall make a guardrail for your roof, so that you shall not cause blood to be spilled in your house, that the one who falls should fall from it, the roof. You shall not sow your vineyard together with a mixed variety of species, lest the increase, even the seed that you sow and the yield of the vineyard both become forbidden. You shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. You shall not wear a mixture of wool and linen together. You shall make yourself twisted threads on the four corners of your garment with which you cover yourself. If a man takes a wife is, is intimate with her and despises her, and he makes libelous charges against her and gives her a bad name, saying, I took this woman, and when I came to her, I did not find any evidence of virginity for her. And the girl's father and her mother shall obtain evidence of the girl's virginity and take it over to the elders of the city to the gate. And the girl's father shall say to the elders, I gave my daughter to this man as a wife, and he despised her. And behold, he made libelous charges, saying, I did not find evidence of your daughter's virginity. But this is the evidence of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the garment before the elders of the city. And the elders of that city shall take the man and chasten him. And they shall fine him one hundred shekels of silver, because he defamed a virgin of Israel. And he should give it to the girl's father, and he, she shall be his wife. He shall not send her away all the days of his life. But if this matter was true, indeed, no evidence of the girl's virginity was found. They shall take the girl out to the entrance of the father's house, and the Men of the city shall pelt her with stones, and she shall die, for she did a disgraceful thing in Israel. To commit adultery in her father's house, so shall you clear away the evil from among you. If a man is found lying with a married woman, even both of them shall die, the man lying with the woman and the woman, so shall you clear away the evil from Israel. If there is a virgin girl betrothed to a man, and another man finds her in the city and lies with her, you shall take them both out to the gate of that city, and you shall pelt them with stones, and they shall die, the girl, because she did not cry out, even though she was in the city, and the man, because he violated his neighbor's wife. So shall you clear away the evil from among you. But if a man finds a betrothed girl in the field, and the man overpowers her and lies with her, then only the man who lays with her shall die. Whereas to the girl you shall do nothing, the girl did not Commit a sin, observing, deserving of death, for just as a man rises up against his fellow and murders him, so is this case. Because he found her in the field, the betrothed girl had cried out, but there was no one to save her. If a man finds a virgin girl who is not betrothed and seizes her and lies with her and they are found, the man who lay with her shall give fifty shekels of silver to the girl's father and she shall become his wife because he violated her. He shall not send her away all the days of his life.